Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Love Love Tutorials. In this video, we're going to talk about editing your content in Drupal. And this is how editing has really come a long way from Drupal 7 to Drupal 8. There's a lot of new features and a lot of cool stuff. So let's get started. Now that we have our pages here, you might be wondering how we can go about modifying these after they've been posted. Well, you'll notice on any given page you're on, as long as we're logged in, let's go essentially to our post here. You'll notice on the home page, we don't necessarily have these edit options. You see edit up here, but this isn't the edit that we're looking for. What we want is to click this my first post, and now we have the option to click edit. From here, it takes you to the admin section where you can edit your post. However, let's head back to the main page here and you'll notice some things that we have whenever we hover over. We've seen these before, these pencil marks, and you'll see that when we hover over something, we get an outline. For instance, the title, if we select this, we can say configure block. Now, configuring this block isn't going to allow us to change the actual page title. So that's one thing to be aware of. You see these pencils all over the place. You see this pencil here and you think, well, maybe I can edit this. Well, the only options occasionally are configure block. However, if we check out the pencil on the body post here, we have quick edit, edit, and delete. Now edit is going to do maybe what you would expect and take you to the edit page. However, what does quick edit do? If we come to this, let's select quick edit. And you can see we now have this interesting inline editing tool. We can click on this and say my edited post and we can either save this or click off and type in here. Okay, now we can save this and you'll notice it not only saved your text here, but it also saved the title itself. So we have some quick editing options if you're just coming in here and you see a title. For instance, I put too many O's here on hello. Select quick edit. I'm gonna come in here. I can now click this and save. And I fixed my typo. Now that's the quickest and easiest way to edit a given post. Now that works for posts. Does that also work for pages? Let's head to about us. And you can see we have the edit tab this time as like we did before. And we have this configure block here, but we also have the quick edit options that we had for our individual page. Let's head to home and check out the individual listing here. You'll see that we have this listing and if we select this here, we can also quick edit this. However, it's only really giving us the option to quick edit the title, the body here. Uh, however, it does when we select it, it opens up this hovering WYSIWYG that allows us to really get in here and make some changes to the entire body copy. You can click out of that. So the way you'll most often be editing post is most likely through the post and then edit. And then from here, you can make your modifications. This way you can do things like creating a new revision, adding tags like you would expect, or having a more overall robust editing experience. Now let's say you have tons of articles and you don't wanna necessarily find the article to get to the edit screen. Well, another way you can find content is by selecting content from your admin bar and we can search here we searched for about, it's finding us our about page. We can select edit here. You can also filter by published, unpublished, or any given content type. So this is how you edit posts with Drupal 8. Make sure that after you've made your changes, you select save and keep published. So now what we can do is just click save and keep published and our post will be fully edited. 
You can see it's taking us back to wherever we just came from. And to visit our post, we can just click this About Us title here and it'll take us to the front end. So this is your typical workflow for editing a post in Drupal 8. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you want to see the rest of these videos before they're released on YouTube, head to store.leveluptutorials.com and purchase them for download or you can scribe, subscribe to Level Up Pro and get all of these videos streaming before they're released as an early access. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.